We've all done it. We've considered purchasing something knowing not how good it is, but maybe how possibly bad it is. And in today's video, I'm sharing with you the Game Station Wireless. I purchased this from GameStop. I think it was on sale like 30 or 40 bucks, normally 60 bucks. This is done by My Arcade, which actually I like some of their products. They make the little mini arcade devices. I have a few in my collection. Typically, they make some good things, but in today's video, I'm gonna share with you my experience with this. So sit back, relax, here we go. All right, I'm gonna unbox this console for you, and it heavily advertises the Data East games, which are the 8-bit versions, the NES versions of these. You know, GameStop does clarify on their website that this is an 8-bit gaming console, and that's essentially what you're getting here is the actual console itself with the two extremely light and cheap controllers. They're, they're Keebler in size. They're very tiny. Um, the, even, even the buttons aren't centered correctly. They're a little off-centered, and I, I don't like that at all. It's got a squishy control pad. Um, you know, it's just, just really poorly made. Um, this is definitely a budget console release. It has no weight to it does not come with a power brick, does come with a micro USB cable. You can plug in batteries in the console itself. It comes with AV cables only non-stereo. While it's cool that you can hook this up to a CRT, um, from the majority of people out there, you don't have one anymore and it's gonna look pretty bad on your flat screen. Here's the console itself. Here's the hookups on the back, a simple on and off switch. So that's it, that's the simple lightweight console doesn't take up a lot of space but i'm going to show you what to expect with the gameplay in a minute here's the manual kind of talks about the batteries and how to install batteries and simple functions doesn't talk about the games and i'm going to show you why here we go they put the data east games up front because they probably are the best games on this collection a lot of these look like knockoffs or amateur projects i'm sure they have taken assets from other games it's it's hard to tell some of these just look really poorly made and i'm going to just kind of randomly choose some games to show you i'm going to show some of the data east games then i'm going to jump into many of these games i haven't played any of these before and so uh these obviously were were recreated somewhere i don't know if they're in-house or they were just just borrowed from other collections but this is a collection of games i know i'm going really fast here you can slow down and take a look at these yourself or experience it yourself uh, it's your call so sometimes things are so bad that are fun to play i don't know about this one so um, there's just many different types of games card puzzle action lots of kind of generic shooters and you know what i played i wasn't really impressed here we go First up is Bad Dudes, and for some out there, this might be the version that you grew up with. You might have had this game on your Nintendo Entertainment System. Uh, it's not my favorite version of Bad Dudes. Uh, you know, it's a flickery mess, but you know, I would rather play the arcade ROM these days, but for some people, they're gonna wanna play the console version. There's Caveman Ninja, um, not a bad game. Again, the Data East games on this aren't bad, it's the execution. Uh, the controller is squishy. The buttons are squishy. The control pad's not great. This is not the ideal way of playing these Nintendo classics. And so for you, you might like it. Here's another ripoff game. It kind of reminds me of like a Batman ripoff game. It's, it's slow going. Uh, I don't think it's a, a great action game whatsoever. Um, I, I don't know the origin or story behind this program game, if it was original, but it's just not fun to play. I'd rather play Batman, not this game. And so there's tons of these games on here. Battle Plan, kind of another generic shooter. Uh, you know, is it the worst games or uh, worst game ever? No, but you know, I'd rather play something, you know, especially with my limited time for entertainment I, I'm not gonna play this. I'm not gonna go and, and check out this kind of fairly generic 8-bit shooter. I prefer my shooters to be 16-bit or newer, but you know, for some out there, you may wanna check this out. 
but here it is it's just you know there's a lot of these kind of generic shooters on here and i don't know if these were college projects or here's champion boat this is just kind of like a, a knockoff eliminator boat duel um you know and it's it shows uh four players but it, really it's only one or two players but it doesn't control great especially with the controllers that are provided you know that's the other thing there's there's no additional options for using your own controller with this device there's no way of adding additional games that i know of and so this is just ends up being kind of a bottom of the barrel budget console here's this, this is kind of a fruit ninja style ripoff game the the uh, and the the character looks like it was taken uh from another game hard to tell but you know here it is kind of reminds me of like a samurai showdown meets fruit ninja i, I don't know this is not a game i'm going to want to play uh, maybe you're a big fruit ninja fan and like these types of games but you know uh you know that while the sprite's large it's just not a fun game to play here's another kind of generic shooter uh, lots of the music that goes along with these games is is fairly bland and not fun i, I don't know like i said i, I just i'm not gonna uh, really enjoy something like this this might be kind of a, a neat inexpensive gift maybe you want to give for kids but you know kids these days they're, they're probably not going to want to play a lot of 8-bit games you know uh, i know my kids in general they would rather be on their ipad or play on a game on the phone or xbox uh, here's a road fighter knockoff um, you know i'd rather play road fighter not this you know, this has got, you know, uh, additional weapons, but it, it, it's not great. It, you know, for, for people out there that want to explore and check out this because it's bad, here's King. <laughs> this is a terrible platformer, uh, obviously trying to uh, imitate Donkey Kong, um, but it's not good, okay? Uh, jump is terrible, control's terrible. Uh, the graphics are nice for an 8-bit game, but, you know, I don't, I don't, find myself wanting to spend a lot of time on this generic platformer and in th this console's filled with these you know yes you have over 300 games there's only probably a handful that are worth it outrun is actually one of the more intriguing games it's kind of like a reverse frogger and i actually found myself wanting to like this game a little bit too difficult i wasn't able to get progressed too far eventually i got to the second stage but um kind of an interesting idea um you know i did like the graphics and you know for kind of like a frogger style game that's kind of cool so there there is some merit to this this is not the worst console i've ever played but there's just a lot of generic stuff on this and i don't know it's going to appeal to a lot of people now this is an interesting game i know this is based off kind of a, a an arcade style game or home computer game i played a vic 20 game called whale hunt that played a lot like this and i actually you know this is a kind of a pac-man style game that i did enjoy playing uh is it original no but you know it's something maybe many of you have not played so there's there's stuff like this on there that i haven't seen before there's tower where you're going back and forth it's kind of uh, kind of like crazy climber where you're just trying to avoid uh, items being thrown at you or projectiles uh, you have to avoid everything and climb as high as you can and so yeah so there is a lot of unique things on here i wouldn't say they're great i wouldn't say they're good i would say fair at best swing is another one this is kind of a, a collect-a-thon you're going around kind of looks like a lolo slime character from either a dragon warrior or or adventures of lolo hard to tell where they got it from but you know you're collecting things avoiding obstacles um you know and you go for a high score then there's man in red which is kind of a combination between kind of a soldier game with uh maybe maybe centipede a little bit of galaga i, I don't know it, it's just not great you know i haven't seen it before haven't played this game before but just because i haven't played it doesn't mean it's good puzzle blocks is kind of your your your, your tetris kind of rip off where you're all you're just taking you're taking shapes and you're rotating them with the terrible controllers included and fitting them into the proper slots not fun not great rather would play tetris you know and it's just continues to offer these kind of bland generic games 
that I don't know if they're college projects, if, if, if uh, I don't even know if uh, the proper uh, credit was given to people that program these. I don't know. I'm not saying it's, it's ripping them off. It could be original uh, in-house games. Who knows? What I do know is that I would rather play something else, okay? This is kind of a, a River Raid style game. Um, not bad, not terrible, but just something that um, I'm not going to spend a lot of time to play. This is Warrior. Uh, another interesting idea, you're kind of going up and down the levels, taking out enemies. Uh, the control isn't great whatsoever. You may want to check out this product to see just how interesting many of these 8-bit games are. But if you're looking for great games, I would go somewhere else. Now, I know there's going to be people out there, those look like good games. Most of them are not. And you may want to consider picking this up if you want to experience how bad it is yourself. Aside from the Data East games, which are the NES versions, not the arcade ones, I don't think there's many great games on this collection. It looks cooler than it is, but if you experience it yourself, it gets a thumbs down for me. Avoid this, get something else. Thank you so much for watching this video. I thought I'd have a little fun today and share with you something that may, maybe other people have not seen. If you like what you see, consider hitting that like and subscribe button and clicking the bell as I upload videos every week. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. Let's keep it positive. This is Immortal John Hancock, and you have a good day.